Following reports confirming that there are people living in the world today concerned about the state of hip-hop, Onion reporters spoke to Robert Davis, one of the many in the world who apparently feels legitimate worry about the future of this subculture. Probably the last time it was really still fresh and vibrant was in the 90s when you had bands like De La Soul and Tribe Called Quest. I mean, they were adding so much flow and nuance of music that is unheard of nowadays. Of the past three years, okay, Kanye's Dark Fantasy is probably like the most celebrated album, but that's even nothing when you compare it back like 20 years ago to like Three Feet High and Rising and Paul's Boutique. Every rapper now has just become so incredibly derivative. I mean, even Jay-Z is on autopilot. Davis, who is a real person, reportedly spends hours a day critically listening to hip-hop CDs, discussing his issues with today's rap culture with his friends, and voicing his concerns on hip-hop-related forums. While at any moment, Davis could be thinking about family, friends, his career, or international relations, he said that recently he's actually been stressed out about whether any musician will ever be able to measure up to a rapper like Rakim. Now, Midnight Marauders by Tribe Called Quest, this is arguably the last great album of the golden era. In it, they're mixing this great sense of alternative hip-hop, jazz, this real sense of black cultural awareness, and you just don't see that in so much of today's music. It's so overproduced, it's auto-tuned, they're all just rapping about trying to be gangsters, even though they're not. You know, if you want to talk about gangster rap, like, Straight out of Compton by N.W.A. Now this is really real. This came out right before... For more on this story, check this week's Onion Review. ...that was on the streets. It's so well produced, you know.